and a welcome back to Charlie and the 808. Boot camp training! Everyone tells me, oh, he's such a good dog, I'll behave, and then I'm always telling him. Sister, no, he was not born this way. He went through so many training classes, and obviously he's only a puppy, so he's not perfect, but all the trainers told me, you know, it's not the dog's fault. The owner also needs, like, responsibility. The owner's responsibility to make sure you train your dog. So he went through about four different training classes. He has a lot of behavior problems, mostly because he's such a friendly dog and he loves dogs, he loves humans. We'll just go up to them all the time. And <laughs> thank you, thank you. The videos that I'm gonna show you are all from off leash canine training, which was a one week boarding training program. You can choose from one or two weeks. I just choose I just chose one week and the trainer sent me videos every single day, sent me photos, sent me videos of what they learned and he came back really taint dog. He is who he is now because of that training program. Honestly, you know, our relationship has improved so much because you know, I do talk to him a lot. I do communicate with him more than I used to because he understands. He understands what I'm saying to him. Even if I don't say anything verbally, he understands my non-verbal cues and I definitely encourage everyone to attend a training class and practice your training skills that you learn and or else the dog is just gonna forget. You know, you can't just go to a training class and then come out expecting the dog to be you know, always obedient without even practicing the skills, right? Uh, it's like humans, you always gotta practice what you learn. Obviously, I'm not a professional dog trainer here, so don't quote me on anything. I am a nurse, not a dog trainer. I am a nurse, not a dog trainer. I just went through so many dog training classes. This is important because you don't want your dog to run out as soon as you open the door. So you always gotta be in control with your dog. If you tell them a command, they need to listen to it, and they need to keep listening to you until you give them the release command. In this case, it is break, B-R-E-A-K. These are progressive photos that the trainer sent me throughout the week. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Although there's a lot of distractions going on in front of him, he's trying to keep eye contact with me, and that's pretty much what you want with your dog. The man who's gonna walk by soon asked me, are you a dog trainer? And I said, no, nah, just a dog mama. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe to Charlie and the 808. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Until next time.